welcome back to AWS Solution Architect Associate. So today we'll be going through module 10 guided lab which is automating infrastructure deployment with AWS formation. So I've started the lab and let's start with this. After completing this lab we should be able to use AWS cloud formation to deploy a virtual private cloud networking layer. We'll be able to use AWS cloud formation to deploy an application layer that references the networking layer. We'll be able to explore templates with AWS cloud formation designer and we'll be able to delete a stack that has a deletion policy. Okay. So let's start with task one, deploying a net networking layer. So it is the best practice to deploy infrastructure in layers. Common layers are network, database, and application. So in the network is Amazon VPC. So this way templates can be reused between systems. For example, you can deploy a common network topology between development, test, and production environment, or deploy a standard database for multiple applications. So in this task, we will deploy an AWS Cloud Formation template that creates an networking layer by using Amazon VPC. Okay. So right click the following link and download the template to your computer. So I've downloaded the lab network to the YAML file. So this is how it looks like. Okay. And in number six, like let's go to Amazon console from services and let's choose cloud formation. And here the cloud formation. If you see this message, try try it now. So we don't see any message. So let's leave. So let's go and say create stack. So we can say create stack and here and configure these settings. Specify template, upload a template file. So we can go with new resources, upload a temp template file. Let's choose the file. So this is the lab file. Let's open. And let's choose next. So what stack name would be lab network. Let's go to next lab network. So let's add a tag application inventory. Application inventory. And let's go to next. And then let's review and let's create a stack. So this lab network stack is currently in progress. So we can see here what have we said. So we have these resources. We have asked to create a VPC resource. And then it will have these properties. Of, it will have a CRA block of this one. It will have internet gateway. It will have a VPC gateway attachment. So in this VPC, we are attaching this Internet Gateway. We are having this public route table, and we are attaching the uh, public route table here. And we are having the, this public subnet, and we are adding the route table's public subnet association. And when after we run all this, so we'll have an output of public subnet. We'll get the subnet ID, and then we'll get the VPC ID. So this should be it. So let's continue. The template will now be used by AWS Cloud Formation to generate a stack resources in the AWS account. The specified tags are automatically propagated in the resources that are created, which makes it easier to identify resources that are used in particular application. Wait for the status to change to create complete. So we need to wait. Okay, so it's create is completed. Choose the resource tab. Let's go to resources. So here's the resources. So now we have all these resources. Okay. So you will see a list of resources that were created by the template. So these are all the resources that were created by this template. Okay. So we need to choose the events tab and scroll through the event log. Let's go to events. And these are all the events which were done while so Nerdicate was created, VP was created, and then we a public route table was created and they were doing the public subnet network association was done and so on now we we'll need to go to the output tab let's go to output so we have here a couple of output which you can see here we added an output for this public subnet and vpc so we should have here the vpc id and the subnet id so this is the vpc id and this is the subnet id okay so output can also be used to provide values to other stack. This is shown for in the export name column. 
in this case the VPC and subject ID are given export names so that other stack can retrieve the value these other stacks can then build resources inside the VPC and subnet so let's choose the template tab so this is the template so this is how our template looks like okay so our task to deploying an application layer now that you have you deployed a network layer you will deploy an application layer that contains an M Amazon EC2 instance and a security group the AWS cloud formation template will import the VPC and subnet IDs from the output of the existing cloud formation stack it will then use the information to create the security group in the VPC and EC2 instance so let's download this so I've downloaded this file so in the left navigation pane choose stacks let's go to stacks and I think we need to create a new stack again so let's create a stack with new resources template is ready upload a template file choose file and have this lab application.yml file so let's open and let's go to next let's see what stack name should be this it should be stack name is applic lab application and network stack name is lab network so it's auto populated let's go to next so we need to give application inventory new tag application inventory let's go to next review lab and let's create a stack so create is in progress so we can see what we have here so we have an web server interface this of type AWS EC2 it is of type 2 t2 micro and we're having all this user data and disk volume and so on okay and let's follow along so while the stack is being created examine the details in the event tab and the resource tab let's go to let's say we are in this let's go to re event tab so you can see how all these events are currently going on uh, we have all these resources we are having the security group and the web server instance so currently they are in uh, progress creation is create in progress okay so in the stack info tab wait the status to change to create complete so let's wait until this is completed so once that is completed we'll go to choose the output tab and we need to copy the ur that is displayed open a new browser web browser tab and paste the url and press enter so let's wait for this to be completed so after waiting for a couple of minutes the creation is complete let's go to output and let's copy this in a new tab so we have successfully launched an aws cloud formation sample excellent so a cloud formation stack can be written value so So if we go to web server security group here, so it's referencing the output from that subnet ID, network stack name. So this is the subnet ID. It's trying to get from this subnet ID. Okay. So it's referencing in that way. So the last line uses the network stack name that you provide in lab network when the stack was created. So here's another example in which the cloud formation template that you just use to create the application stack. This template cloud places the EC2 instance into the subnet that was created in the network stack. So you can see here the network stack name. Okay. So let's update the stack. AWS Cloud Formation can also update the stack that has been deployed. When you update the stack, AWS Cloud Formation will only modify or replace the resources that are being changed. Any resources that are not going to be changed will left as is. Okay. So in this task, we'll update the lab application stack to modify the setting. So let's go to console services and let's go to EC2 let's go to EC2 and let's choose security groups and select the lab application web security group so let's select this choose the inbound rule tab 
Currently, only one rule is in the separate group, the rule permits HTTP traffic. You will now return to AWS Cloud Formation to update the stack. So currently we have only this separate group rule, HTTP 80, okay. So from the services menu, choose cloud formation, right click in the application link, download it, the updated template in cloud lab application. The, this template has an additional configuration to permit inbound shell traffic on port 22. I have already downloaded this file. So if I open this application to So what it is referring to is this part. So we have this and we have also this. So currently we don't have, we have only port 80 open, but in this script we are going to open this port 22 as well, okay? So in stack list of the AWS Cloud Formation Console, select the lab application. Let's go to lab application, yes. Okay, and then let's go to stacks, lab application. And I think we need to click on update. Update. Replace current template. Upload a template file. And here I need to lab application to YAML file. Let's go to next. Let's go to next. And let's go to next. And let's submit so here if we see we'll have this update in progress in the event change set preview so it's here so I think it's completed let's go to event oh it's already completed so I think I can go we can go to this and refresh we should have a TCP port 22 here Oh, no, amazing so in stack info tab wait for the update complete it's completed we have refreshed and we have also checked this in the separate group in live application of the group we are able to see the tcp port of 22. so duck number four is exploring templates with aws cloud formation designer aws cloud formation designer is a graphic tool for creating viewing and modifying aws cloud formation template so let's go to cloud formation and in the left navigation pane let's choose designer let's go to designer so here is the designer So choose the file menu, open local file. Open local file. Let's open this lab application. So this is how our how the YAML file looks like. So we have a security group, we have a disk volume, and we have a web server, and we're mounting this disk volume to here, and we're addressing this security group in this web server instance. Simple. So instead of drawing a typical architectural diagram, designer is a Visual editor of AWS Cloud Formation template, it draws the resources that are defined in a template and their relationship to each other. Experiment with the feature of the designer, some things to try are. So I think this part we can always, like we can try by itself. So uh, I, I suggest you to try by itself. So task five is deleting the stack. Let's go, so I think we want to go and delete the stack. So when the resources are no longer required, AWS Cloud Formation can delete the resources built of the stack. A deletion policy can also be specified against resources. It can preserve or back up a resource when, it's, when its stack is deleted. This feature is useful for retaining database disk volumes or any resource that might be needed after the stack is deleted. The lab application stack was configured to take a snapshot of an Amazon block storage disk volume before it was deleted. The code in the template that accompanies that configuration, configuration is disk volume type this one properties this and it has a deletion policy of snapshot. So let's go to, let's go back, let's go to leave, so we don't need that anymore. So we are in the stacks and let's choose this and let's say delete. So you can want the deletion process of the events tab, so let's go to events. So current delete is in progress. So delete is completed. So I've deleted this disk mount. So web server instance is in progress. We have also deleted the disk volume. So from the services, choose EC2. 
let's go to EC2 and let's go to snapshots it should be in AMI and snapshots so it's here so we have this snapshots which was just created when we delete the stack so let's submit the lab let's submit so I think this is it from this module and hope to see you in another module again so let, before that let's see the report let's go to grades so yes so we're able to score 20 out of 20 so see you in another